Hey there, everyone, this is Al Cow playing Banjo Tooie, and uh, well, we'll leave these lovebirds alone. Uh, today we are entering Witchy World. Uh, today we are entering World 3 on the quest principally for notes and moves. I did it. As far as the game is concerned, I this has been like one long run. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine. Like, I think DK64 had a memory leak at some point, right? No, but I think it was fine if you, uh, had a controller pad. And that's, like, that's what why it was there in the first place. I don't remember, but I remember having pretty long play uh, like, sessions with that back in the day, though. You know what? I think I'm worrying for nothing. Here we are in a brand new space and town, witchy world. I think you can interact with these, I think. Can you? Yeah, you can. Whoops. This is Jiggy Wiggy's Altar of Knowledge. Press B to view the Mighty One's Wisdom. Alright, I love wisdom. Already opened this door for you. That's your wisdom? It's terrible wisdom. That's barely wise at all. That's nothing. It's a statement of fact. Alright, so I don't know how many moves there are. Like, that's what I've learned last time. Because we're just right here, just gonna ruin the mood immediately. Because if you go here... Yeah, we don't know. But here we are. Has this music. Things are kind of framing. There's Boggy. Kinda. Hello. Hi. Hey. I wish to speak. Uh, hello there, little darlings. Uh, personally, that's probably you helped my... Yeah, there we go. That's Miss Boggy. This is a non-flattering camera angle. <laughs> little older, a little fatter. Sounds great. That is a very poor hobby. Must be getting back home. I told my children, groggy, soggy, and moggy. That's right. Fantastic naming scheme. Looks like I'm just gonna do that. Whoa, remember the jump shock pad, whatever it's called? Uh, here's the one button. Oh, burger. Don't, don't sneeze on it. I don't know what a punter is. I do not have that level of British slang in me. There's an enemy, a guy goes, dead has a hammer. Danger, Electricitron. All right, so don't touch the Electricitron. But there's notes up there, and I need it. An Area 51 that is situated inside this festival zone. The zone of- Whoa, okay, rude. I'm not a fan of that friend, though. All right, what's in this big tent that's in the middle of the map? I don't know if it's in, it's in the middle of the map. I just said that, it's fine. Well, hello there, Mr. Gorilla. You have a pumpkin on your hat. To enter, probably. Four tickets are required to enter. All right. Let's add some more collectibles. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of things you can pick up in this game. What if we added a little bit more just for this world? Uh, okay, so there's the burger place, as well as some notes! Hell yeah! Here we go, five notes. Beautiful, I wanna speak to the sign. Big Al's Burgers! Well, I know, I'm glad they're being honest about it. It's better than the opposite. There's a rhino. Why do you have a one-star badge? Honestly, his sniffing is, is kind of not doing it for me. It's kind of gross. Uh, so I saw the note here, right next to this whimsical carnival object. And here's the star spinner, finally! Let's look around here before going in there, I guess. I am not being very particularly 
uh, orderly in how I'm exploring. I'm just kind of going places, which I think is the proper way to do things anyways. Especially in a fairground. Uh, so now I'll be on the other side right here. Oh, okay, so that's what Mumbo is about. Is about going to this machine. Oh, that's probably gonna open this door. Hey, look at this move I almost missed, though. Uh, well, 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 if it ain't the move, man. Airborne A-Gaming! So why not fire them in the air? That's right, so while you're flying, you put yourself in sight mode, and then you can fire while flying. That's an upgrade that makes sense, and it is very much an upgrade. It's like it's a cool way of like combining things we can already do into like a single thing. I, I'm just smart. As far as I'm concerned, that's what I just said. That's just smart. Man, this looks really framey to me. Okay, so Star Spinner is a thing. This is the bank, the bank truck door. Got it. That's where the note cliff is. But what's here? Well, that's the Star Spinner itself. It says so right there on the giant sign. That doesn't need to be opened up. The Star Spinner, finally. Yeah, indeed. So we got notes, we got honey. We got this guy dressed up as an alien. Always run into mascots. It is your task. Whoa! Look at that, it's the Minjo! Okay, so, and, uh... Mr. Jikin Jankum has to come here and do a thing. So you let me come in, but then, kind of don't, I can't really do anything. Fair enough, alright. Feels like Mumbo's gonna be pretty busy here. You know what, that's gonna change from the future pass of the future. What am I even saying? I don't know. Come inside and have your fortune told. Oh boy. I'm actually obliged to point out that you may not necessarily like... I mean, I feel like that's just kind of implied. Is it? Why would that be implied? Oh, hey! Wait, so Grunty's just here? Well, <laughs> maybe she's aware of the game like like in the first game? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's so dumb. <laughs> it's just one you lose. Uh, okay, that's funny. That has made me a mute. Okay, this is important. So, if you were alive during this game's marketing period, there were two major focus, I feel like, in the marketing of Banjo-Tooie for the N64 by Rare. One is the increased rele relevance of Mumbo, which I would debate. The other is this. Separate skills are what you lack. So let's get Kazooie out your pack. Find your pads is what you do. Pressing A makes one become two. That's right, you can split off Banjo and Kazooie. And spoilers, this is why, this is where a lot of moves comes from. You can play as Banjo. You have split up! I did that! Change to the other character. Stand on your pad or near a swap cloud, which is a thing, apparently. Because, yeah, it's like, as we are now, pretty limited. But Daniel jumps bad. He cannot attack at all. He cannot attack at all. He can't roll nor punch, which is weird. He does have a hua, though. You can't even crawl. You can look up, but you can't aim for anything. Like, your banjo, you did it, I guess. Well, then your Kazooie, she cannot attack. She runs fast. She jumps like that. She kind of falls over. She does this, which is very cute. Uh, can you still spit eggs? You still have the ability. You do still have your egg moves, though, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. But yeah! Banjo and Kazooie split apart at last. Uh, that's going to be a thing. It's a big part of the game. I feel. Oh, wait. I need to check. I got two moves now, right? How many are there? There's another one somewhere. There's another move somewhere. And I need all of them. Is it in the dive of death? 
I doubt it, but we can check. Well, check it out. Well, there's notes, which is good. Because that's the second thing we really need. There we go. Thank you for being here. So, well, okay. This feels like the kind of thing that you climb and then there's something at the top. Then there's like a couple of tunnels coming out of here. There you go. The Inferno! That does sound like a ride. Look at that beautiful stars game. <laughs> it's probably artificial. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, in-game. Alright, so hey, check it out. It's the high dive. We are way up here. It's pretty spooky. And, uh, hey. Wanna... Wanna barely... Whoop, I... Okay, well, hey, that's why the dive is there. Working as intended. Oh, there you here you can see it while climbing up. This is where we get our first carnival jiggy. Wow. So last time I just kind of fell. But that's that's what happened. Yeah, you don't need to be slow. You just need to be precise. And then at some point give up and jump. <laughs> and then you got to do a backflip. Get down. No, all right. You know what? If you're gonna be like that, let's just jump. There we go. I was not sure if I was well aligned with that pool. Not gonna lie. Why would I lie about that? I'm not gonna lie. I just said I'm not gonna lie. All right, that's the first door right here, going from the left. Uh, yes. I wasn't sure, and so I just kind of awkwardly moved all over the place. All right. Pay here. Pay what? I don't know. I don't got money. I got a lot of collectibles. Uh, that's what I got. Welcome to the Tooth Zone. Okay, the Haunted Cavern. Also known as the Tooth Zone. It's a big old windy place with spikes. Got it. And it's lit up by ghosts. You know, that's a pretty cool little vibe you got there. I'm pretty sure the teeth, even though they're weird flat little objects, will hurt. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's like a little path you gotta follow and not hurt yourself. The management accepts no responsibility for soiled underwear. That sounds too scary. I'm gonna continue down the tooth pass instead. Tooth past? Yeah, it's the past of teeth. This is what teeth used to look like. Alright, this is just for eggs, which... Weird. But okay. Alright. Um, now I cannot see the pathway in front of me. It's pretty good. Yeah, see, so you got like weird, like glowing elf things. And I can light my way with the fire in, in case I really have to. But just as I was selecting my different ammo, a ghost flew by and lit up the path for me. How nice and vengeful. Alright, where are we at? It's a cave of horrors. See, here's the thing. Here's the weird monster thing. Alright, uh, I need like a key for this? Uh, unless you will accept a grenade as payment. No. Fair enough. Is it? Here's a dinosaur, it looks like. Because, yeah, naturally. Hey, what are you doing here, friendo? <laughs> oh man, you grew a beard. Yeah, what are you doing in there? You're not a whore. You're pitiful. That's right. Now that you're here, I'll soon be out. I need to find a massive, comically large key. Wow. What? Are we friends? I feel like a lot of assumptions are been made. So these are all the ancient bearded camel, mighty evil dinosaur, this sad moaning thing, and the weird killer alien. That is funny. That is really good. Yeah, I don't have a key though, nor do I feel like I have really much of any ways to interact with much of anything here. Maybe I'll find a key at some point. Or, like, I'll find, uh, something that will do something, so look forward to that! Yeah, so you can, you can hurt, you can be hurt, don't be hurt. 
Right, there was another tunnel, like, this is the purple tunnel, there was one that was like more green, like right there. So here's... Hey here, this is where you pay. Whoop, getting pushed! Uh, interesting. I need money, probably to open that thing there, got it. So there's green cave, and there's doesn't look to be any other caves here. Alright, let's go into green cave. Uh, the cave of green. Why what am I even saying? I'm just saying nonsense. Oh logos here? Hey, it's a train station. Oh, is that a child of bogey? I'm really hungry. Don't you think you had enough? Oh, you sure about that? Are you really, really sure about that? So, okay, so this is an important thing. You gotta do that to this guy and he dies. That's very important. But no! You collect these! Shuffy's uh, Loading Ore and Glitter Gulch Mine. And I think this means now that I can go from Glitter Gulch Mine to here, or is there a button you need to press for that? Honestly, I think I forgot. Rest in peace! Rest in peace! Pieces, more like it. Yeah, that's right, blow up. Oh wait, there's a pastiche brother there. Like, what's up with that? There's a climber thing somewhere? Maybe. What's that sign? Oh, no food. No food? Well, if I can't bring food, how am I gonna bring this guy a burger? Be realistic here. Alright, so... Okay, there, like, there's a, there's a pistachio man. There. Yeah, going up here. That's gonna do something. Sweet. Okay. So I do wonder now, if you can go on top here. And then you do another flip. Ah, there we go. Okay, okay. I did it. I, I solved the puzzle. Then you destroy this guy. And he splatters, and it's kind of violent? But it's okay, because I'm the good guy, so it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And it's also pretty abstract. Ah, so that's how trains work. You gotta press the train button. Okay, there we go. And now we can go from Witchy World to, to Glitter Gulch Mine. That is how it be. I wanna, I wanna do it. Like, I need, I need to try it. You go, so you go here, you press a button, you press the interact button. There you go. Chuffy's loading ore in Glitter Gulch Mine! Would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Let's just press the button to see how it looks like. If there's like a special animation. There's totally gonna be, well I don't know if it's gonna be special, but there is an animation. It's specialness. <laughs> Still needs to be observed, um, so there you go. Look at that. It's chuffing around. Chuffing along. Goes into the darkness where bad things exist. Uh, then you got like the sweet little camera pan where it focuses on the spooky faces. And there you go! Interworld travel! And there's even like a ramp for the, the box thing. Uh, if you need to ramp something up in there. Alright, well I summon you for no reason. But you're here now! Yeah, what happens if I bring a burger? Maybe you mean like no outside food? Let me fetch a burger real quick and give that to the small child. Yeah. A large child wishes a large burger, please! He seems relatively enthusiastic about serving burgers. It's just that he's very unclean. Okay. That was weirdly aggressive. No more burgers. They're made fresh, on the spot. I don't know if uh, rhinoceros 
is ever able to see what is underneath itself. Large animals. I don't know if you're aware of that. Uh, oh, and there's the fries place talking about fries. Uh, look at that. It's fries. Uh, it says so right there. Salty Joe. Uh, I'm gonna talk to this, maybe. Oh, no, yeah, I had to press a button, right, to open up the burger. Taste-free, greasy alternative. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, all right, let's burger boy. All right, so can I cross the no food zone? Take it on. Okay, so you but you just mean leaving the world. I'm still in the world technically. Okay, that is a weird way to do this. I guess it's to tutorialize to make sure you don't miss a tutorial on how you can leave with like food. Uh, other places need food. <laughs> yeah. Here it comes. Eventually. People do speak a lot in this game. Yes, I'll give you a berg. There you go. It's pretty large. Shall we say... And here's the big puzzle. How do you carry him? Normally, when you need to carry something, you just touch it, and then they become a collectible, and then, you know, they're they're there, and they're on the way, but I... Maybe if you drill him? That's not how you carry someone, typically, but, you know, I'm willing to try. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm not, I'm go I'm not gonna clown around with that. Like, that is just... You can't... You, I can't do that right now. I cannot carry... This round spherical child with me is not possible. Uh, how much is there left? Like, the main construct of this place. Because, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, there's fry. Oh, there's the button behind it. And the guy did it. I found the fries button. Wow, it's right behind it. Yeah, it's behind the store. I know, right? Unbelievable. Um, okay, so up there is the place where the painting was. Over here is nothing too interesting for me. More notes. More notes. And that the, that's like the full round of the place. Okay, so there's one major area then only to look at. Yeah, it's a little like Western Zone. You know what? I'm gonna play it safe. Next time we're gonna go there. We're gonna go into Western Zone and we'll see what we get. Because I'm not sure how involved that's gonna be. Because it's weird, because it's a large place, but also... There's like nothing we can do. And I remember feeling like that when I, when I played this game for the first time as, as a young one. I was like, man, this place is so large, but... Like, everything is just out of reach. You, you can't really interact with anything. What's up with that? 